Okay, Assalamualaikum uh, Chapter 7 Networking Okay, so first of all What is network? So, network is mean of connecting computer together To sell resources, uh, resources Data, file, program And so on Okay, so these resources Such as printers, modem Or any kind of thing That you can share over the network Okay, share data, files and program For example, if you are buying a software that can be used by the whole organization uh, You can share it using the share network file So basically, we have four popular network architecture We have Ethernet, Wireless LAN, Token RIN and FDDI Fiber Distributed Data Interface So how do we differentiate be between this kind of architecture? So there are two ways First, first is how computer are logically connected and second how traffic is controlled so traffic here mean the movement of data packet okay from one workstation to another workstation so some of the term that you need to know in the networking is network adapter okay or your network interface card okay the thing that you connect to your network cable and also network protocol so we have OS protocol such as NetView protocol TCP IP protocol okay, transaction control protocol internet protocol also you, you, uh, you need to know the hardware protocol such as Ethernet token ring and FDDI wireless and so on okay data transmission so packet datagram or frame okay so this thing is the data or the communication that you send or you transmit over the network okay so os protocol uh, netview okay uh, so this is a uh, enhanced version for the net bios used by networks operating system okay such as lan manager lan server and so on okay so this thing for communication between different operate between operating system Okay, for different operating system, they are using the TCP IP, okay, Transaction Control Protocol, uh, Internet Protocol, okay, so it is used to connect the computer over the internet or over the network. Okay, so network architecture, the first is Ethernet. So, what is Ethernet? So, Ethernet is the most popular network topology. It can be configured as either star or bus, okay. So star for example Okay, this is star You can see star Alright, so that is star And the one would be bus Okay, one 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 Okay, and you must have a terminator At the end and at the beginning Okay, so that will be bus Okay So the example of the cabling standard for the Ethernet 10 base 2, 10 base 5, 10 base T and 10 base F and so on. Okay, so the difference is uh, the maximum cable length and the speed that it can carry. This is a different Ethernet cable. Okay, so we have coaxial cable, okay, UTP, unsealed twisted pair cable. Uh, C fiber optic cable and D okay, cell that twisted pair cable okay so we're supposed to have this kind of assignment this semester however due, due to MCO okay we only we will only uh, see it through the video okay so topology let me mention we have bus topology and star topology so bus connect is not in a line single line has no central connection point okay for the star topology so connect all nodes all nodes mean all computer all terminal or all workstation okay to a centralized hub okay most popular easier to maintain why because a uh, problem in one computer will not affect on another computer however if you, if the problem is on the main computer or the central computer so all the network will need to be troubleshoot or uh, need to be shut down Okay, before the central computer can be fixed. Okay, so the example of bus design and star design. Okay, uh, for the bus design, you must have the terminator at the beginning at the end. Okay, so for example, if one computer 
is having a problem so all the network cannot work okay different with the star design you have a centralized hub so if one computer is having a problem so others computer can still communicate however if the problem is on the hub uh, then you need to shut down the network to fix the hub okay how internet hub works so hub is uh, the thing that can broadcast your data so for example let's say computer A is sending data to computer C okay uh, only C is the receiver not B or not D however when the A send the data to the hub so the hub will replicate okay the hub will replicate and pass the data to every device connected to it so mean that it will give it to B it will give it to D and also give it to C however only C will respond and receive it B will only listen okay they will they won't uh, B and D they will only listen they won't do anything to those data okay so that is how it works This is the combination of star bus topology. Okay, so the connection of hub is using the bus, and this one is using the star topology. So this one is using the bridge. Okay, so bridge is an extension of the hub. Okay, so bridge will only send data across the bridge or across the highway if the if the intended uh, recipient is on the another network segment okay for example let's say segment a and segment b okay let's say computer a want to send data to computer b okay uh, so when when a send data to the to the bridge so the bridge will check the address of the uh, the address or location of the res uh, receiver terminal Okay, so at this moment, the the receiver is on the same network segment, so it will block the data from moving to the segment B. So that would uh, reduce the network traffic. So this one is CSMACD, Carousel Multiple Access with Collision Detection. It is a method to prevent uh, collision of a data packet. Okay, so collision of the uh, CSMA CD mean that every network on a computer must sense the network before they submit a data. Okay, for example, let's say we have here five computer. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so for example, if computer one, okay, want to send data to computer five. Okay, so the first thing that computer one must do is to sense the network, okay, to track the network. Okay, they must check whether at the moment, uh, if computer 2, computer 3, or computer 4, or computer 5 is sending a data. If if no computer uh, is doing anything at that time, so computer 1 can proceed with its task. Okay, however, if at that time computer 2 is sending a data, computer 1 need to wait for the computer 2 to complete uh, its task before proceed with their task. Okay. Okay, wireless LAN. So this is the most simplest uh, wireless, the most easy to set up. Okay, uh, so usually using the IEEE standard. Okay, so use radio waves or infrared light to connect computer and device. Okay, include antenna to send and receive signal. Okay, however, security is an issue, especially if you are connecting your device to non-secure network. Okay, so the example how to set up your Wi-Fi. Okay, so this one is using the lenses. So you must select the security mode where the WP, w, WPA, WPA2 personal, WPA2 enterprise and so on. Okay, algorithm, shaky network, okay, your Wi-Fi password and so on. So this thing can be set using the web browser. Okay. Uh, this is a diagram for the Wi-Fi. Okay, you must have the access point. So this one would, could be either hub, but mostly we will be using the wireless router. Okay, uh, or we call it the wireless AP, wireless access point. Okay, second one is token ring. So token ring, 
uh, is configure okay con configure like a star but have a word as a ring okay so only a host that host talker can send data okay so if uh, the internet is using the csma cd talker ring use a uh, uh, signal that we call it as a token okay so only a computer that have the token can send data over the network okay so mean that it can prevent the collision of a data packet okay so token ring physical star logical ring okay Data packet is preceded by a token. So any computer that wants to submit data, they must first obtain the token first. Okay. So transmit data at four megabyte or six megabyte per second. And they also have multi station as a unit MSAU, and use either UTP and STP cable, and also use RJ forty five or UDC connector. Okay, so the example of the token ring architecture. Okay, so even though we configure uh, the token ring as a star, however, it work uh, as a ring. Okay, mean that the token will move from one computer to another computer. Okay, so you cannot freely uh, submit a data or transmit a data in a token ring uh, architecture. Last is FDDI, Fiber Distributed Data Interface, okay, the Unify and so on. So this is the most fastest uh, e e Ethernet on uh, network architecture at the moment. Okay, so they're using the fiber cable. So this is how it works. It has two ring, okay, primary and secondary ring. So if anything happens to the primary ring, it can always send the data on the secondary ring. Okay, networking hardware, so hub is the most popular, however nowadays we rarely use hub, okay, we use uh, a more better software, uh, hardware uh, such as routers or bridge or switches. So hub, so hub the disadvantages is that it will replicate your data to all the workstation, okay, so it will overload the network, okay. So second is repeater. So what is a repeater? So repeaters uh, we amplify signal on a network. Okay, for example, if you are using Wi-Fi, so there is a limit on the coverage of the Wi-Fi. Okay, so where so whenever the coverage become low, you can use the repeaters to enhance or straighten back the signal. Okay, network card, so we have different kind of network card, okay, we have also PC card for the network card, we have sort of wireless and so on. Okay, bridges, so bridges will only allow uh, hardware uh, or data signal to move to another network segment uh, or to another network, se network segment, okay, if the address is for the another network segment. If the address for the same network segment, you cannot go to the uh, another network segment. Okay, switcher. So switcher is much more better than the bridges. Okay, so send packet only to network segment for each with each desk time. Okay, both kit source and destination map address in routine table and learn new addresses. Okay, for example, if if let's say you have three uh, network segment A, B, and C. Okay, and you want to send the data to the network segment B. So switches can do that for you. Okay, not bridges because bridges we only check whether the network segment is on the same segment or different segment. Okay, if the network segment is on the different segment, it will broadcast the message to all the available network segment. So the example of routers. So routers can select the best path. Okay. And you also can okay, provide MAC addresses. Okay, for example, if, if you can see here, so we have a network A at California and network, network F uh, on web server in the network. So routers can select the best path. Okay, for example, router 1, router 2, router 4, and router 8, and then destination. Router 1, router 3, router 8, destination. Okay, router 1, router 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, and so on. Okay, so it will select the best fat path, the faster path to, to your data. So that's the advantages of router.
Okay, network segmentation. So what is network segmentation? Network segmentation is breaking the network into a smaller network. So why do we need to do network segmentation? Okay, because to reduce the network traffic. For example, if if you are using the internet using the CSMACD, okay, so only one computer can trust me a data at a single time. So let's say you have 100 computer in a one network segment. So mean that the 99 computer have to wait for one computer to complete its task. Okay, so that's why we do a segmenting a network. So why? Because the two reason first is to reduce traffic. Okay, and improve network performance. Okay. So this segment the network. So this network segment A, network segment B, and network segment C. Okay. Ah, uh, so however, the best thing uh, that you must do okay to segment this network is using either switch or bridge. Okay, do not use hub. Okay, so if you are using hub here, so mean that it's no better than have than having the same segment because it will broadcast your message to all the network segment. Okay, mean that if you are sending the message from computer ten to computer eleven, all the computer on the other network segment will receive the same data. Okay, however, they only listen to the to those data only. Okay, so this for example using bridge and using switch. Okay, let's say so bridge we also replicate data. You see network segment A, network segment two, network segment three. However, switch will send the data to the intended recipient. Okay, ah uh, bridge we only set we only broadcast if the location of the data is outside of the current network. Okay. If the location is on the same network, bridge will stop it here. It will not broadcast to the other uh, network segment. Okay, so some of the protocol that we have is Ethernet, ATM, Token Rain, TCP/IP, and so on. Okay, you can see here. Okay, so web browser we use for email, spreadsheet. Okay, we have port addresses, operating system, and so on. So address your network. We use the MAC addresses. Okay, so MAC addresses is a unique address embedded in NC. It's like your identification number. There is no computer in this world that have the same uh, MAC addresses. Okay, so it's same with the IP addresses. So we have a couple of uh, type of IP addresses. Okay, cat A, cat B, and so on. We also have character based name. So this is to identify your computer in. Uh, in a network, okay, so it must uh, it must uh, easier to understand the co character based name compared to the IP addresses. We also have port addresses to make a uh, secure connection to the network. And the example of network configuration. Uh, this is how computer communicate in a network. Okay, so we did the same segment. So we are using the MAC addresses. However, if you are using the internet, so communi communication is by IP addresses. So your IP addresses will be recorded. Okay, so in case of uh, security breach and so on, they will always refer to the recorded IP addresses. Okay, so IP addresses we have five classes: class A, B, C, D, and E. Okay. So this is the subnet month for the IP addresses. Okay, two five five, two five five, two five five, and so on. And this example of the reserve IP addresses. So reserve means that you cannot use those IP addresses. First is do for the two five five. This one for the broadcast message usually used by the hub. Okay, zero 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 is an unassigned. Uh, one two seven is for your own workstation. Okay, we call it as a local host. So how to assign IP addresses? So usually we have two type of IP addresses. We have dynamic and static. Dynamic mean that the IP address will always change. Static mean that the IP address will remain the same even though you shutter your computer and so on. Okay, so this one is using the dynamic IP address using the DSCP server. Okay, so you can assign how many com computer or how many terminal can be connected to the uh, access point. 
this one is using the network address trans tr translation okay so it is internet standard enable local area network to use one set of IP addresses for internet traffic and second set of addresses for external traffic okay so this network address translation for the internal we are using the MAC for the external we are using the IP addresses okay uh, like we have discussed earlier Okay, how computer find each other on LAN? Okay, so they're using the NetBIOS. Okay, NetBIOS or your computer name, computer based name. Okay. Dynamic address addressing. So when do you use dynamic? Okay, so this is static, this is dynamic. Okay, static means you are doing nothing. Okay, dynamic means it, it will always change. Okay, uh, whenever you make connection to the computer, you will get a new uh ip addresses okay so when you need static okay uh when you do not need static okay when you do not need static if you just want to browse the internet you want you just want to watch your facebook instagram and so on okay you just want to do some chatting uh, so mean that you can go for the dynamic Okay, so you need a static IP addresses when uh, if you want to run a web server, okay, if you want to run an email server, if you want to share a data or file or program over the internet, or you want to do a video conferencing, and so that you need a static IP addresses. This static IP addresses will be provided by your service provider, internet service provider. Okay, so usually you can you can do all sort of thing with just a single static IP addresses. Okay, because within the static IP addresses, you can have what we call it as a subdomain and so on. So problem with the NIC. Okay, first is cannot make connection to the network. Okay, uh, network places do not show at the computer, error meshes and so on, no light and so on. Okay, so how to how to troubleshoot first? Check the cable and port, and check the network itself. Make sure it's good. Check the BIOS and check the device driver. Then you you can use the IP config uh, instruction on the Windows to check the status of your network card. Okay, usually use the statement ping. Okay, ping to check the status of the website. Let's try to do it. Okay, I run the CMD. Okay, you can see it here. Okay, when I put ping, let ping yahoo.com Okay, so there is a response for yahoo.com So mean that everything is good Okay, if you if you have to check your own computer, ping localhost Of ROM name, local host Okay, so we got reply, so no problem with my graph, uh, with my network card. Okay, so you, so you can try it on your home. Bandwidth technology, so there's some of the bandwidth technology that we have nowadays. So regular traffic line, we totally use it, can't discount anymore. Cable, okay, ISDN, DSL, satellite access, and wireless access. So nowadays, most of us are using the DSL. So this is the bandwidth technology, HP and the common use, you can read it on your own, okay, yeah, and etc, etc, you can read it, alright. Alright, so that's all for today, so if you have any problem or any question regarding this topic, please feel free to WhatsApp me or contact me, uh, and for, uh, and as usual, please put on the comment the summary of this chapter, and see you in the next chapter. Assalamualaikum and thank you.